Hi everyone, it's Elise from The Painted Brushing Co. So the other day I popped up a video staining the top of this and I said that I would show you when I waxed it. So I'm finally up to waxing and I wanted to show you a new wax that's new to me as well and also show you this technique that I love um, for waxing timber and creating a really nice, soft and subtle finish. So this wax is brand new on the market. I've only just discovered it and it's just arrived. So I thought, why not use it in this video? Um, I've never used it before. I've used a hemp wax before, but I haven't used this particular brand. It is Australian made and owned. It's called Hemp Bee Creative and it is their beeswax and hemp oil furniture wax. So I previously used a hemp wax and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw this was available, I um, immediately jumped onto it. So I'm very, very keen to give this a go. It smells like hemp oil and beeswax. It's no nasty smells at all. It's got a very nice waxy finish to it. So I'm quite excited to see how it goes on the timber. Now, hemp oil, hemp oil naturally is amazing for timber. It brings the timber to life. It hydrates, it protects, and it nourishes, which is what you want in the product that you use on your timber. I personally prefer to use a wax like this, um, like Pure Eco's beeswax polishes or their liquid waxes, or I use hemp, hemp uh, finishing oil. I don't like to use top coats on timbers. I feel like I feel a bit plasticky um, because I really like the natural feel of timber. I don't like it when it's sealed with top coats personally because I just don't like that feel. Um, I love top coats on paint, don't love it on my timber but everyone's different. But if you haven't tried a wax or an oil on your timber, give it a go because it is, um, it, it's how timber should be sealed. It just feels so beautiful. It's very nourishing for the timber and it's very easy to um, repair any damage that happens. Um, and it's also easy to reapply if it's ever needed. Um, some timbers, the older they are, the drier they are, they will need to be reapplied every few months it really depends on the timber and on the piece and every single piece of timber is different every single piece of furniture is different so let's begin i like to apply my waxes and my oils when i've when i'm working with timber with a brush i don't like to use a cloth straight up because the timber is and you can already see the timber um, has a rough texture to it. It's not super smooth. Um, this word, this has just been stained. So there's no other, no other products on this timber at all. It is raw timber with some stain on it. Using a cloth, your cloth's going to get stuck in the fibers, particularly as you start applying your wax or your oil. As those fibers get wet, they go from lying down to standing up, and that's when you start to have your issues. So I like to personally use a brush. Now, for my waxes, I have wax brushes. So we've got our wax. For this technique, you'll need some sandpaper. Thousand grit is my preference. If you don't have thousand grit, that's fine. Um, you just want it to be as fine as you can get. So anything 400 plus, ideally though, you want to be six, 800, thousand plus. Um, if you don't have sandpaper, but you've got steel wool, um, the, I think it's four zero, uh, steel wool is really good as well. So sandpaper, my wax, a brush, and I like to use a microfiber cloth for buffing. I find it's lint free. It produces a really nice finish. It removes the wax easily. Um, and it also doesn't just soak up all the wax and then not redistribute it as I'm going. So I like to use a microfiber cloth. So this is how easy this, te this technique is. Um, there's a few different ways to do it. I'm going to do it one way today. I've shown other ways to do it where you put a big clump of wax down. I'm going to do this with just apply a little bit of wax today. So our wax, as I said, I haven't used this particular wax before. So it's got a really nice consistency. It is more like a traditional wax. It, it is a hard wax. I would describe it as a hard wax. You can see it's nice and creamy. It's softened up very, very easily on my brush. That is a lot of wax on my brush, but 
let's start applying this so as i apply this you're going to see the timber come to life it's going to hydrate it it's going to soak in so when you're applying your wax you can go in any direction that you like there is absolutely no need to stick to one direction regardless of whether it's on paint or on timber so that's spreading out really nicely it's very very hydrating so some timbers when you apply your waxes and your oils you will see a notable uh notable difference in the uh color of the of the timber as it changes this timber i'm not expecting to see much um it is silky oak but it's just subtle now i applied the stain if you haven't caught that video it is up just before this one if you need to lighten your timber and you want to remove the orange of the timber silky oak is traditionally a very orange timber if you want to remove that orange a white stain a white wax um or a white wash with some paint is the easiest way to do that so i use pure eco's and i will show you i've used pure eco's stain and glaze in the color whisper on this now the stain and glaze does not need to be sealed it has a built-in top coat however i always like to oil or uh, wax my timber because of how nourishing it is and when you start doing it you'll see the difference even when your timber stained adding that wax adding that oil nourishing the timber further is going to help bring out the grain of the timber it's going to showcase the timber and it's really going to take your stained timber to a whole different level it's really really going to enhance it so when you're applying your wax apply it all over don't worry about it if you miss bits it is not the end of the world because what happens when we buff it we spread that wax around and that's why it doesn't matter so don't stress about it. now i'm not really using much at all at all i'm very impressed with how well this wax is spreading it although it's hard it's very very easy to spread and that's what i love some waxes you will find they can be really hard to spread when they're in this format and that's why i typically stick with liquid waxes because of how easy they are to spread but i am very very impressed with this already so i'm just going to keep spreading this around it smells amazing i love the smell of hemp oil and of beeswax i love the natural smell of it this isn't scented with anything which i love i actually don't like really heavily scented waxes um, because they irritate my nose way too much Now, when you are waxing, your best friend is your fingers, is your touch and feel. So, before you do anything else, I want you to take your hand and touch your surface. You'll feel that it is oily, it is greasy feeling. You'll be able to feel that wax, particularly down here, there's quite a bit just there. You can feel it, you can see it on your fingers. Feel that, so feel it before you do anything else, touch your timber. That's so that you know what your timber feels like with the wax on it. Same with oil. It's how you know that there's oil there. Next, you're going to take your sandpaper. You're not going to buff yet. You're going to take your sandpaper. So this is a thousand grit sandpaper. Ultra, ultra fine. Um, I'll show you this one. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera. This one is a rough grit. I'd say it's about an 80 it is very rough it catches on my fingers whereas this one's so smooth it feels like paper like a sheet of um photocopy paper so nice no, fun now when you're sanding this is when it becomes really important to follow the grain the grain is the lines in the wood mine are going that way so you need to make sure regardless of whether or not you're using a thousand grit or 80 grit that you go with the grain of the timber it is very very easy to scratch timber when you go go against the grain so with the grain of the timber starting at one end working your way along 
And all we're doing, my timber right now is quite, um, it, it's got a lot of texture to it. You can feel the fibers of the timber have stood up. So this is going to soothe them and tuck them back away. Really, you don't have to spend ages doing this, but keep touching it. So obviously it's still quite waxy, but you'll be able to feel. If I feel a bit that I haven't done, I can feel how rough that is versus this bit here. It's now quite soft and subtle. So keep going. So this is going to create a baby bottom smooth finish. And it's also helping push that wax into the fibers of your timber. And by pushing them in, it's going to protect them even more. Right. Run your hand over it. Feel for any spots where it might still be a little bit rough and needs a little bit more help. Now we're going to take our cloth, our microfiber cloth, pick a section. When you're buffing, you want to make sure that you keep changing your cloth. You don't want to keep using the same piece over the entire piece because you're just going to be reapplying that wax and you're not going to be doing what you need to be doing. If I'm finding it's grabbing too much in any particular areas, I will stop and I will give it a little bit more, more of a sand. Now, when you're buffing, you do not have to go with the direction of the timber. Because you're not um, sanding it, it's not a big deal. You can go any direction you want. Now, hemp oil is naturally very drying. So, as it dries, it will cure itself. Where it reacts with the oxygen in the air and hardens. So, it's going to be really protective as well. And that's one of the reasons why I like using hemp-infused waxes. This feels absolutely amazing. Now, as you're buffing, to work out whether or not your wax is gone, feel over it. If it feels waxy, if it feels overly wet or oily, there's still wax there, you need to buff it a bit more. So the wax I have used is Hemp Bee Creatives Bees Wax and Hemp Oil Furniture Wax. Absolutely beautiful wax. I've used barely any in there. I think, is there a size on here? This is a 100 gram wax. So 100 grams, I've maybe used five grams, maybe, for an entire top. And this is about 1.2 by maybe 400 mil, 500 mil. So it's not a huge piece, but that's very, very little wax for the benefit that it creates. So very easy to use. These guys are brand new. I absolutely love and adore this. So I'm going to jump on an email and ask to be a stockist because I love it. Um, I'm very, very impressed already. So wax or oil on the top with some sandpaper, 10, 15 minutes. Very easy to do, very nourishing, very durable finish that will last. And it's very, very easy to reapply to repair if there's ever any issues. So, thank you all so much for watching. Check out my other videos. I will drop some into the comments for you as well um, using this technique and similar on um, over paint and over timber again as well. So you can see the different variances. Have a wonderful day. Bye.